Who's here? I've got my Earl Grey. It's nice and hot. It's cold in here in the office. And how are you? So I missed Bruce's chat, unfortunately, last night. I came in briefly, but I, I took a quick peek at it this morning, just maybe like no more than 10 seconds, and saw that he was addressing this video from none other than our favorite Korean man. And so I just went to the second incarnation of the original video that he did and discovered that he's, he's asking questions of me, the same questions again, as and he's claiming that I'm beating around the bush. And the only question I remember is the same question, which is he's asking, why am I false accusing? It, it's insanity because even his friends cannot support. I'd like to hear from Good old Bill down here. Um, although I, I think it maybe I blocked him, but he can use Remnant Rising or any of his other assorted accounts that I probably haven't blocked. I blocked Francis Rude. She would be interested because, but I don't need to hear from her because she always posts insanity. Um, like she posted on that video. Hi, Sister Sunshine. Um, yeah, no, I told you that you were going to be made into a jib jab video eventually, but I want to let this go. I have let it go. It's it's a broken record at this point because it's the same question. Um, let me let me go back. <sighs> Essentially, well, to the question of why are you false accusing, I'm not false accusing. Everything that I've said is true, and you've confirmed it. You you denied that you you owned GayRodico.com in the past, and now you do. And you're saying that I you said that I false accused when I said you owned it before, and now I'm not false accusing. I don't, I'm confused at what you think I'm false accusing. And so I've, I've come to a solution, I think, and this, this may be, it's not very Christian, the content, at least the humor, it's potty humor that you might argue. But unfortunately, when you, when you come to Christ, as I did at like 36, 37 years old, I was almost 37, the... The humor that I developed, I, potty humor is hilarious to me, and it's still hilarious to me. And so I think that I've come to, uh, again, the, the potty humor caveat, uh, and it's probably, this will be my little sarcasm uh, graphic, perhaps, if it's still there, down in the corner, or oh, this way, oh, this guy right here. That one says Roberto. This one just says Dream. Now that we have four people in here. And I know for sure that the Korean's in here now. So I hope you're doing well, Sam. But you got to let this go, man. Because you just look foolish when you keep asking the same questions. Anyway, what I wanted to do is go at least try and remember what that second question was that you were asking because I don't I think it's on your Uncle Sam channel uh, let's see here. hey guys hey guys TS over here hope everything is good it's a good catchphrase um, Francis Rude's comment this one was the one that before I listened to what your questions were and you when I watched the last 30 seconds or something, you mentioned it, and that's why I went, what the hell? He's still asking the same questions? Francis Rude said seven hours ago. I should probably put this on here. I don't think it'll let, let me, though. 
I think that it's too long, but I'm going to try. Create a banner. Uh, yeah, it won't. Um, but I, let's see. Let's let's put the first one in there. Oh, it won't. Even, it just took like the very end from Francis Rude, so that's not even worth it. Out here on YouTube, she says, YT, loads of things are full of venom. One person, Jack in the Box, I don't know who that is, but she's putting somebody down. Jack Smack, maybe? Or, amongst many can have 666 POD, I have no idea what that means, all over their YouTube page, and all their friends in quotes, buddy and sisty them. Sisty? What does that mean? I don't know. It appears... Then she puts appears in bold to be they might all be vying for a higher seat in Satan's army. And then you click on some of their personal home pages and they're just as bad. See, Ms. Condemnation here is condemning Jack in the Box, whoever that is, and amongst many, as she says, on a on a video that's called GayErotico.com too. The jokes write themselves. Oh my goodness, Francis. Knob Deed Potato Lawyer, Bill, says, I looked sexy in this. Also, my friends are Satanists and possess demonic people. Bill was once a friend of mine. The jokes write themselves. But Francis Rude responds to that. Knob deed, potato lawyer. She puts PL. She's a little lazy with her typing. LOL. She thought knob deed, potato lawyer was funny. I just subscribed to your channel and asked you a cue. She did have to sh have to share that Mr. B, assuming Mr. Bruce, can play a great guitar. And there's where the offense begins for me, if I'm honest with you. What about me, Francis? Do I not play a great guitar? How you doing, Daniel? English is hardest to learn from what I've always heard. Well, I'm going to prove otherwise. And, and it's the only way I can explain this, but... Let's go back to the end of this video where he condemns this person, Neurogenesis, who seems to be siding with me. Hmm. I wonder if Knob Deed Potato Lawyer thinks that Neurogenesis is a Satanist as well. I don't know. But let's listen here. Conjectures. And Conjectures. And hearsays. Hearsays. So here's the thing. Here's Drink. Uh, why is Google sinning the first thing? Okay, that's one. And why is why is Google sinning? As if Google is like, well, number one, like Google is not a Christian organization. So when we start from that point, then we know that any act that Google as a corporation makes from the Bible would be a uh, de facto dirty rag per the Bible, right? So we start there. So anything that Google would do is a dirty rag in terms of works, what their works are, right? Sometimes they, they try and do good works, whether they're donating or doing whatever, donating maybe to schools, cloud services. I don't know what they do. But the point of the matter, and it's very, very simple. Bye, sir. Have a good one. The point of the matter that's very simple is when you supply links to the general public that would lead them to pornographic content, it's a sin. Right? Wait, hold on. This, this person has something to say, and I don't need you to hear it.
The worst part about the Christmas season is having to buy so many gifts for so many people. I wish we could just everyone would do a secret Santa. <sighs> Need to do that. So didn't didn't we listen to Bill rant for hours about how he was he was done wrong? I didn't listen to him, but just know this. If you're friends with somebody that Bill despises, you're done. And I would just say I, I unfriended him before he started attacking me as he is. And it could be worse. Maybe it'll get worse. Um, but when I unfriended him, let's just say I haven't regretted the decision. He hasn't done anything to make me regret it. And the fact that he's joining in with somebody who is obviously an admitted Alphabet's domain porn owner and has no issue with it. I, I think I, I, I don't know. Let's, let's move on. Let's, oh, here we go. How is it even any sin when nothing has been committed? Actually creating a program to digest the internet and finding porn, pornographic links that somebody can type into your search engine porno girls and find naked girls that's a sin if if you you know it's not even to take it up with youtube take it up with him take it up with god i'm prepared for somebody other than you sam to contest it's something that you don't even need scripture for to know because we know that fornication is a sin and we know that pornography glorifies fornication and so by providing links to that with the the idea that pornography it's like it's like going it's like condemning a restaurant this isn't a sin of course but this is the thinking it's like saying it's a restaurant how could you possibly expect that they would serve you food now that's a legit thing that's a non-sin but why i bring that up is when, when you're, you're dealing with pornography, it's an obvious thing that you are serving lust. People don't watch pornography, in other words, for the art. So let's see here. Someone else's potential sin. We're not even talking potential sin. We're talking like when... God talks about fornication. When scripture talks about fornication and that sin, it makes no mention of millstones. So when you're the one that's providing the means for someone to commit sin, potentially, you are causing that person to stumble. And that is extremely obvious. So let's look up millstone Bible. Because this is the key crux. It, it, again, this is something that doesn't even need to be proven. I, I could have Levite in here. I could have Bill in here. I could have Francis Rude. And they would agree with me on every one of these points. So here's your challenge, Sam. The, the challenge I give to you is to bring them into a chat room and answer this question. Answer these two questions. One. Is providing pornography to the public a sin? I'll just leave it at that. You say, Sam, no. And obviously, I guess that you have no choice but to say that because you know that you did. All right? You're, you know that you provided pornography to the public. Access to it at the very minimum. That's what it, There's no dispute there. And so the only thing you could say is my providing links so people could access pornography and I could make money from it or my partners, which is a bunch of BS, um, it's not sinful at all. It's this, the only thing that's a sin is when somebody clicks one of the links that I provide. That is disgustingly idiotic. It's just stupid. There's no other word for that logic. It's stupid. So 
Let's go to Matthew 18, 6. It's pretty deep language, and I know that you know it, but you ask the question, how is it sinning? So let's take a look. And I, This is Jesus' words, right? That's, that's the worst thing. Here's what Jesus would answer to you. Oh, this, it's, it's silly that the banner won't put the whole thing. So we'll put this one first. This is Jesus' words. If, if anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a, and then large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. That's NIV. I know you don't like the NIV or you don't read it. So let's go King James. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones who, which believe in me, it were, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Now imagine your domain, Pokemon.net, that you had pointing to av porno, porno advertisements of monsters having anal and oral sex. Whoso shall offend one of these little ones? It would be better for him to have a millstone hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. That's pretty bad as it is, but that would be better for you. It's not my words, man. It's not my opinion. That's the thing that you ex expect from the world, people before they become a Christian. That's why I say, if you're not a Christian, fine. If you are a Christian, not fine. And most especially not fine if you want to teach others and condemn others. I'm not going to come up here and talk about, like you like to call me the masturbator. Where you got that, I don't know. It's your way because you think that I'm false accusing to you, so you false accuse to me, and somehow that is justified, right? I don't understand that whole thing. But... The point of, of saying that is that by providing links to the public, you are causing people to do all those things. And that's what you can expect. Like, the, But back to the point I was going to make, if I was what you accuse me of, I don't make videos saying, it's great. What's wrong with masturbating? What's wrong with masturbating to pornography? What's wrong with that, right, Sam? It's a silly statement, right? In the same way, what's wrong with providing people with links to pornography? You don't do it anymore, so cheers to you. Dream. I think this is relevant, too, in the end. So <clears throat> I'm going to share a screen. And the only thing that I can uh, possibly try in trying to understand uh, oh, oh, you've left. Can't you even answer one single question? Sin creator? I don't know what that means. Is God sinning because God created and provided evil? <laughs> well, number one, God is good. So the opposite of God. God's existence brings evil in. God creates evil through his very existence, but he doesn't physically intentionally create it. We have a means to determine what is good and evil because we have an absolute measure. That's it. That's from a philosophical standpoint. It's nice and simple. God doesn't go into his handiwork and say, I want to cause great harm and suffering to people. It's just not what he's about. Unless he's pretty mad at you, I guess he's done that a few times. But he made a promise after uh, with the rainbow with Noah and he, he made a, a covenant with the world through his son, Jesus, a very peaceful covenant that we just have to repent and believe. And that's it. It's simple. It's awesome. But so where I'm where I am with you, Sam, and trying to understand where you're coming from, I did a, a little bit of research 
And I think this will explain it all, actually. Welcome back, by the way. You left and you've come back, maybe as another, another account. And now David's in here. How are you doing? Um, people like... People like that say they're saved because they believe, but even James thought it's a compelling argument to show that even demons believe in tremble. Demons believe in see firsthand. Yeah, they know. They knew when he was here. Uh, Legion knew who he was. But they, they had the, I don't know whether they were incapable, whether the demons were incapable, or whether they just simply willfully chose to go along their own path, but they're not going to be saved. That's absolutely true. They know and believe the truth, although they twist it. And that's what Sam's doing. But here, I have an explanation. So let's let's share the screen. Let me take uh, my, my cup of coffee down. And let's take the, uh, the banner down. Now, here's a, a Korean teacher. And this is what I was describing earlier as the potty humor thing. This is hilarious to me. But maybe it explains. You see, now she is talking about how to say in English, and there's the Korean below, please give me a Coke. And maybe there's some explanation here, and you'll see where she talks, where maybe the disconnect is happening with Sam, and he, he just thinks it's alphabets. So hopefully you can hear it. Let's see if I turn up the sound, and I'm hoping that's not too loud. Here we go. Next one. Please give me cock. Cock. It's cock. It's in English. I still remember the first time I went to America. I was at the airplane. I asked flight attendants that, can I, can I get a cola? And she asked me, excuse me? I, I keep saying, cola? Cola, cola. Everybody but knows it cola. It was not cola. It was cock. No. It was cock. Cock. It's cock, actually, right? Cock. So maybe a few Korean people could understand if you just say cock. See, now that she says it right there. Maybe a few people. Wait, no, no. What would she say about Koreans here? You just say cock. But most people can say cock. People could understand. I, so maybe a few Korean people could understand if you just say cock. See, so maybe a few Korean people, she says, could understand if you just say cock. Maybe when Sam did gay erotico, he thought it was guy erotico, but he was mispronouncing it. Maybe he thinks gay means guy. Is that a possibility? I don't know. Let's keep watching for research. But most people can can understand. Do you have cock? Remember cock? Remember it? It's not cock in Korean. What's cock? So do you have? What do you have? Do you have cock? Good. So cock. It's coke. And they said yes. What's yes? Dead. Simple. Simple. Please give me cock. Wait. Oh, please give me cock. Please get she wants the coke is what she's saying, right? It seems very different to me. Please give me Coke. Right? Is that what you said? Not sure. Please give me cock. I want a cock. Please give me cock. Cock and ask them the price of cock. How much is cock? How much coke? is this? How much is this? Hmm. What's this? Damn, and you leave after buying something. You always say, thank you. So after you buy the Coke, you say, thank you, right? I mean, that's, that's, it's pretty simple. I think that we've got it figured out now. As simple as I will make it for you, Sam, and I'm going to put a link now. So now your, your trolls can come in because that's when it'll be fun for you. It's why you left, but you're, you're back, I think, based on the number of people that are in the room. So I'm going to post the StreamYard chat. you got to behave yourself, though. And we can talk about it man-to-man -man instead of 
man to troll account if you really want to talk about it. But I'd like for you to address the idea of millstone and how that applies to people that su supply porn links to the public. Because like a restaurant's designed to feed you, pornography is designed to feed you in a different way, to feed your lust. It's simple, simple math, right? It's like, is do we even need to talk about it? In, in other words, why, when you were sitting there accusing me of being masturbator and laughing about it, um, what was your point? Why would that be bad, right? And so if you're the conduit by which somebody sins, yeah, is that the same as like if a restaurant is open, is that person responsible for somebody ordering 14 supersize uh, meals? Well, if it was 14 in a single day, I would say, yeah, there's some life, there's some responsibility there. But forget that. From a, let's let's take it from a worldly perspective. No, do what thou wilt, right? But from a Christian perspective, are you insane, right? Now, Daniel said, seems like it needs an A in front of, of Coke. Do you want Coke? No, because we say, do you want Coke? But do you see maybe, Daniel, maybe there's just a language disconnect. The Korean language is difficult, right? It's extremely difficult. And I think that might have something to do with it. Um, there is a difference between being a believer and being a disciple. Yeah, but... Jesus didn't say you had to be a good disciple in order to be saved. But I, I would say that somebody who, now the, it's also a sin to lie, right? I mean, it's, it's a big sin. It's one of the things that God hates, right, is lying. So when you lie, you're, you're ticking off God. And so when you come in here and say that you had no involvement with pornography ever, even Bill knows that's false. So I would say that somebody that continues to, to not only when he gets out of his initial sin because it's, he's found out, and we can, I've already told you that it would have been better if I did it privately. That's, that's not an issue. But when you're found out, then you double down by re-sinning. I see many, many wives has come in. You're not going to get on. If you want to get on, you can come in as uh, one of your regular accounts, Sam. I will, or you can come on video. I'll put you up if you come on video, and I'll even let you play your rooster sound. But you guys show me on video that that's you. So just switch it up. Let me see video. Give me a thumbs up or something. And then I'll bring you up. And if I don't notice, you'll have to stay on until I notice. So how are you, Matt? Um, when Sam made the video with the potato on Rob's face, he went the extra step and added a red glance. Right. But it was a heart. <laughs> and this is the thing that got to me. Yeah. So, Bella, I'm back to him because he keeps addressing it. I didn't want to to deal with this again, but he he at he continue, he says I'm beating around the bush because I won't answer the question of why I continue according to him to falsely accuse. And I'm saying I never falsely accused him at all, never. So it's that simple. He has to show me where I falsely accused him. And I'd like to bring him up. See, here he is. There, he's. I know he's in the stream, but he won't talk. He won't show himself. So he's just going to be a vulture, basically. So again, I'm going to put the link back in there. Bruce, if you'd like to, to join. Uh, poor Sam can't stand being alone in a corner. He wants us to play. He does. That's why he keeps... You know, he enjoys this, so I'll give him a little bit more of his 15 minutes because he's called me out for it. I will say this neurogenesis gal, I like her. 
she's somebody that sees the truth that because it's staring at her in the face. I mean, here's a guy that's saying, yeah, now I own, I don't own these domains. I, uh, but look what I can do. Look where it's pointed. When I did my funny little Hitler sketch, and I said that gayerotico.com was pointed to ion dome bracelets. It was. There was a parking page with an ion dome advertisement. As soon as I put that out, within five hours, it was back to me. Wow. Your partners are making that decision? Are you really going to be insulting everyone's intelligence here? So we have Sam in the Hello, Sam. Uh, hello, hello. I have uh, trouble today uh, figuring out um, domain versus oh, website. Not 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 same same. Domain. So, uh, domain. I know nothing by a cursor. You're nothing but cures. I hate, I just have things I hate. I, I cures, I cures, I cures, I liar, liar, liar. All you right, well, you are a liar. I know every one of you is a liar. You, you have stupid people in, in, in chat. Stupid, stupid people. You're, you're stu All right, I'm going to have to shut him off for now, at least, I guess. Sam, I don't think that was Sam. I'll be honest. I have a feeling that it's not Sam. There's somebody, uh, Sam is commenting in the private. He's here. He's too cowardly to come on camera, but he says that I'm scared. I'm here. You could come in, man. Is God sinning? No, God does not sin. God is good. God does not God has not created porno links on a search engine, right? No. So, Sam, when you did that, and so, once again, we go back to the same analysis we've gone through from the beginning. One, if it wasn't a problem, why did you stop when you were found out? It's that simple. God didn't make evil, no. Scripture refers to that. King James in the English says it. But I would say that it wasn't an active, intentional act on his part to create evil, no. Calamity, there's sometimes when he's done that for sure. And when he does it, it's going to always be under his righteous judgment. So are you saying, Sam, that your judgment is so righteous that no matter what you decide to do, let's say that it's providing porn links to the public that because you're a son of God and so ergo God and little God and righteous that you can't do wrong. Is that what you're saying? Because that's when you'd be prompt. Who created it then? God did implicitly by his simply existing, by being good. Because when we have the measure Otherwise, there's no determination of what is good and evil if you don't have good. So God's very existence, being all good, gives us the measure of what is evil. And so we, evil was created, in other words, as a result of God's goodness. So we have the measure to determine when something is wicked. Without God, we can't. So poor bastard fights against the Bible. Not at all. Not at all. I just say when it when the English says that, perhaps it might be a little like, and I think we need to maybe go back to it. This might be helpful. I don't know how long you've been in here, Bruce, but this this is definitely helpful. If it'll at least show up here. Darn it. But most people can can understand. Do you have cock? Remember cock? Remember? Remember coke is what she means to say. Um, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Yeah. But understand that 
darkness existed. Darkness was the de facto. Do you understand that God created darkness because he created light? I know it's really deep. It's deep and philosophical. It's tough for you. For instance, the de facto situation is no light. De facto, like if you go deep into the bowels of space, it's darkness. And something needs to be created in order to change that. And the only thing that would correct darkness is light. There's no label for it without light. There's no label for evil without good. Do you understand? So when it says that, the word evil is not in most modern translations for a reason, or am I wrong? Oh, that's uh, Bruce. Are you are you going to be like serious now? Are you going to be yourself? Well, I was serious. I'm willing to act up if you want. I mean, now now I'm acting up, you know. But no, I don't serious. don't act up. Don't act up. Yeah, for, we're, uh, I was trying to. Uh, well, I think I think the word was calamity in some instances. I'm yeah, not sure, and, and that's because you run into some weird issues with the word evil. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it, obviously, I understand it could be fitting, whatever. But but you do get into an issue where, uh, um, I could say, is Jesus God? Now, if you could say, well, now we might have to add manifest in the flesh, of course, because <laughs> that's very important, you know. And and so uh, so God manifest in the flesh created evil would be. Oh, no, I, I I'm a create. I like the KJV. It's just not my number one. Um, well, I, I, Sam, you, if you want to talk, he continues to talk. I'm turning off private chat. If you want to talk, you can come in. Yeah, I mean, you can, go, uh, you can probably look in the Geneva Bible and find evil, and maybe a few other later translations, but. I mean, there is a reason why some translations use the word calamity. You know, I don't think it's uh, ridiculous. Uh, um, but it's, I, I think the notion of, of having God who created man to have relations, relation with him, uh, as a relationship with him, to, to desire to do harmful things to his creation, I, I don't think that is God's desire. And that's, that's just me. Uh, otherwise, if it was his desire, and if that was what was good and pleasing in his mind, then there would be we would just be toys that he could manipulate and just have a good time with, by like a, a, an eight-year-old with a magnifying glass to ants, right? Mm. So, well, it looks like Sam, I, I'm going to have to ban you from the studio. Sorry to do that. I hope it's not your oh, IP. My. Well, I just leave him. Leave him. I, I, yeah. kicked, I kicked him originally, but he came back in the same. So you're going to have to authenticate yourself. So let's see what it says. To ban a guest, you need to require our, all guests to authenticate with YouTube or Facebook. Existing guests won't need to authenticate unless they refresh the page or you kick, click, uh, kick them. All right. You're going to have to log in for now. But that you, poor guy, though, I mean... Poor Sam. I mean, I, I, you know, I feel bad at times because people make fun of him and they, you know, like I, even I made a video, uh, uh, hangout last night and I was making fun of him at the beginning, but got over it soon enough. I thought it was fun. Cause you know, here I am running the channel that he shut down with all his power and might, uh, playing God, you know, cause he is God, you know? And, and then I brought it back up. It's almost like slapping the little God in the face, you know, and I felt kind of bad. I like that he, the spin he's taken on that apparently is that he showed mercy to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? What? And, and by doing what? By allowing the channel to come back? By not fighting it. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you have to fight it yourself because he, he did fight it? Well, once, <laughs> once you go far enough to get the channel removed, then, you know, I don't, I don't think you could. Sam could have gone out of his way to go to YouTube and say, "Ah, bring it back." There needed to be some battle in order to do that. Yeah, but he didn't. But remember, he said he's just he doesn't respond. It's just easy. But it didn't go through quite like that. No, I'm just glad you got the channel back because yeah, he definitely channel. didn't make it easy. After no, he stole my videos. He stole my videos and uploaded them, and I just took them back. And then, and then he had. Uh, well, I guess it's, you know, godly behavior. You know, those, those are the kind of things a uh, true son of God would do. You know, I have to say true, true son of God. I'm not trying yeah, to. 
It's just alphabets, Rob, just alphabets. And on that note, I'd like to advertise just alphabetsmedia.com where you can, if you're looking for a web or podcast host, you can find what you're looking for at just alphabetsmedia.com. All right. You still with me? <laughs> yeah. Come as you are, Sam. I, there was this uh, song I remember like that. It didn't say Sam though at the end. No, it's a Nirvana song. It's a good song. There's a song called come as you are. Yeah. Wow. I was in a band that we had a song called Come As You Are. And I actually it was a Christian song, but that was written uh, like in the 80s. When did Nirvana write that? Oh, through? you know what? There's, there's a, there is a new one, Come As You Are, by David Crowder, actually. We play that at my church. It's a no, great song. Okay. But, well, but ours was written in the 80s. So I'd say we were. Yeah. The, the Crowder's, Crowder's was uh, in the last two years. It's. Uh, he also has a great song called Lift Your Head, Weary Sinners. I think I played for Dale because it's kind of rocky. He likes the rocky stuff. There's probably a uh, lot of songs written with that name, though, I'll bet you, because it's a popular kind well, of... Well, Nirvana, Nirvana, the most popular Come As You Are of all time is no doubt Nirvana, is for sure. Yeah, but it obviously doesn't have the same meaning as you would have from a Christian perspective. Oh, exactly. Because the, the yeah. David Crowder song is... Uh, Come out of sadness from wherever you've been. Come broken heart hearted. There's rescue uh, within. I think um, so. It's it's like you don't need to be perfect. So in the sense of of Sam here, yeah, from a yeah. standpoint, you don't need to be perfect. Just don't double down on your sin. Don't get caught in your sin and then start lying because you know it's one of the things that God hates. In fact, I think Sam just did a video on the fact that he hates people that give false witness. And yet he's saying that I falsely accused him of one, owning the domains and then two saying they had porn connected to him. Um, I've, I've got witnesses. I've got video. I've got it all. What so, did you, he's saying that you accused him of owning their domains. He's saying that I'm false accusing him. He didn't really specify as to what. I can only say what he has said in the past, which is, he, you know, that he said, when I said that he owned gayerotico.com, he denied it, right? Remember? Many yeah. times, same yeah. 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 He well, said that he didn't. He accused me of falsely accusing him. You know, I, I guess I can understand why somebody might lie about something like that, but it... It, it just got so weird with the whole thing. I think the attitude and them calling everybody a liar and everything, he just, I don't know. It, it just seemed to like create his own problems, you know? And, and then, uh, and I have to admit looking at his, uh, uncle Sam with uh, video after video, after video, after video, mocking and making fun of people and laughing at him hysterically and such. I don't think that's really helped him a whole lot, you know, at least not when it comes yeah. to his intention is, I mean, they have a little good old boys club. And as long as you're, you're attacking the right people, then you're going to be buddies. And mm -hmm. we have, we haven't always agreed, Bruce. There's a lot that we disagree. We, we disagree a lot politically. Uh, we disagreed on that whole, like, you remember you got kind of mad at me about when we were talking about that whole, if God asked you to kill somebody, would you? Oh yeah, yeah, I get, yeah, I get frustrated over that stuff. But I, yeah, and, and rightfully so. I know where you're coming from, but it's like you know, I can be friendly with you because you're not a. I mean, even if you don't claim to be a Christian, you're certainly not a a, a proponent of sin, right? No, it seems like yeah. a bad idea. You know, <laughs> I've, never been, I've never viewed you as a hypocrite, so. When you come out and you make videos saying this person, let me give you 10 reasons why this person isn't Christian. And by the way, go to gayerotico.com to, for the proof. <laughs> gayerotico.com. So you saw that one person, Neurogenesis, on his channel. Oh, yeah. Uh, she, she, uh, oh, she had the gall to uh, challenge him, and she's feeling the wrath of his power now. I don't know if he has a picture of her, but if he does, soon we'll see what she looks like in jib-jab video, right? 
Well, that's because uh, Jesus would laugh. Although in one of his last videos I was watching last night, it's amazing. Now he he actually adds that the Holy Ghost, he says, will be laughing too about this stuff, you know. And that's amazing. You know, to me, I don't know of another word other than amazing. Like, uh, um, other than horrid, amazingly hard, horrid, amazingly hard. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, that could be a new praise and worship song. Amazingly hard. You know, the the of uh, the the fear. You know, to warn people of the fiery pits of hell. I don't know. Maybe this. And people could understand if you just say cock. Um. Why does that video make me laugh? Well, so it reminds me of when uh, when he's in the hangout and he's the rooster's crowing, you know? Yeah. yeah it could be like a cock fight, a coke fight going on or something, a bunch of crack. Coke fight, yeah, coke for sure. Fight. Sabella says he, meaning Sam, knows, and we're dealing with the same stuff again, giving him attention. Can't help myself. Uh, that Sam knows damn well that at the very least Pokemon.net, and that's a kid's trademark, was connected to porn because she's the one who had to argue with him to get him to fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be right back. All right. So, so not only do we have do I have a witness here who saw and at the time this happened, the witness and I were at odds. She wasn't a fan of mine. So at the time that happened, she she supported Sam many, many times in the challenges that I made to him until she saw what was going on. And then it was directed to children, albeit unintentionally. Let me give, let me give him that. Um, and again, he's had the opportunity to explain it, to say, like, he had no idea. Thank you, Rob, for alerting me. I contacted my managers, and then they stopped it. But he never, he sort of alluded to that, but it always was sort of, when he did before, it was always, uh, it didn't feel like it was the sincere fact and reality because it never went there at the start. It was always, no, he's just falsely accusing. I don't own any of these things because he knows that all of the domains have been privated. He did not know that I printed out who his information in 2013 or 14, whenever we did. And uh, when I showed that uh, xvideo.net was in his name at his address, pornogirls.net, yada, 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 I have all of that stuff. So uh, my witness is here. So you can confront your witnesses, Sam. Come on in. Uh-oh. I don't know if this is Daniel. Daniel, is this you? Yeah, it's me. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you guys doing? Just frustrated. I, I'd like for this just to drop. I've already said how Sam could have cleared the air. He could have said everything Rob said is true. And I apologize for accusing him of being a false accuser and then lying about him. And then uh, casting aspersions at him. And if that happened, I'd be like, all right, I can forgive. Because Robbie is a liar. Liar. You're a liar, liar, liar. Oh. I, think he's, he's just matter of fact, he said, I like your stash, by the way. Hi, oh, yeah, I'm back in the 80s. <laughs> Mine is just, it, it's darker here than on the sides, but I've got like a, a George Michael beard attempt, oh, I guess. Man. I can't go over here to aggravate me today. I feel like I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah. Not as stylish as George Michael, for sure. <laughs> Um, he passed away, didn't he? he? Oh yeah, he did. He did. He had. He was a great musician. That's for sure. Yeah, I mm -hmm. loved his music. I loved Careless Whisper. So, what's going on with you, Daniel? Not a whole lot. You know, the Bible says, uh, "If we confess our faults one to another and pray one for another, that we might be healed." Uh, but might, that might be his money maker. So, not take. Yeah. Money. You know, that's exactly well. That's why do you think he's so mad at me, right? I mean, he's so frustrated and angry with me that he's 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 lost that. But like I said, he's made the decision. Something convicted him 
outside of me, like in the in the case of Pokemon.net, it was Sabella who had to convince him mm -hmm. as she right you can see that that's her from the chat right here he he didn't want to do you mean it's so fact, to take I mean, of the pornography I, mean, I don't get it you know i mean what the heck's the deal here with geez one of his friends like legalist, agreed with legal finally she finally saw that maybe this robbery isn't falsely accusing as sam keeps saying maybe i'm not gonna give sam the benefit of the doubt in every situation like i have in the past you know, because I, I don't claim to be a, a great Christian. I fail in many, many points. And it's exactly what you said, Daniel. It's like if we if we if we have fellowship with other people and and confess those things or trouble that we have and maybe people in person in particular, uh, like a pastor in person and people that we see in church in person that could hold us accountable. That's a good thing. But there's there's many, many people who will say that I am the. Worst Christian ever. And that, those are the people that see me more than my wife. Wow. Yeah, we need to. Um, now we're all failures. I mean, I'm the biggest failure I, I, that, that I know. So, but that's, that's just because you don't know the private lives of everyone else. Yeah. But imagine if you did, and then maybe if I was a proponent of it. If I said, go to JeffAlphabet.com and you can buy some of my great domains like uh, KoreanHookers.com. Could you imagine? I mean, it's just... <laughs> and I go, what's wrong with that? It's the people that click it. Yeah, I mean, well, we, we can't... Uh, the Bible says if we see our, our brother overtaken in the pot, we, you know, we, we, store, we store them under spirit of meekness, but you know, I mean, when they won't admit it, I mean, you know, uh, uh, just continuing in sin and, and, and uh, you know, Paul said, God forbid that we should continue in sin and that grace may abound, you know. So, sad, but yeah. it's a sad situation. It is, and it, and it would be best left unsaid, which I was prepared to do. I was prepared for the, the Hitler translation video to be the the last word on the issue and then he moved then he switched gay erotico back to me and it's like okay i could deal with that but now he's doing videos constantly saying that i'm i'm beating around the bush and asking the same questions i've answered before and i've answered them now and then in the private chat he comes in and just say he's trying to move the goalpost so he finds something where Bill will support him. Like Bill will probably say, because he loves the KGB, it says God created evil, therefore God created evil. And therefore Robbie's a heretic for saying that that's not true through the word. Well, iniquity, um, iniquity was found in Satan, so. Yeah, I mean, everything that's evil, is God doesn't partake in evil. Oh, you know, it's, it's outside his nature. It's it's totally outside his nature to partake. So when when he's done something that an atheist would say is evil, for instance, flooding the the world and killing a lot of men, women, and children, and all of that stuff, he had his justifications for it. Whatever those were, since I'm a Christian and a believer, they were righteous. Well, he they were good. Yeah, he flooded the world because of all, all of the all of the nephilim that was, you know. They, they, well, uh, yeah. However, yeah, for whatever reason he did it, I know one thing: it wasn't evil. No, he didn't take pleasure in it. All, all, of so, all, man, all, 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 all of the seed had been um, corrupted. All but uh, Noah. Yeah, so, I think so now. Actually, Daniel, when you came in, did you have to validate yourself? How did that work when you came in? It asked me to uh, either go to Facebook or YouTube. I had to sign in, re-sign in through YouTube. Oh, you know, just because uh, Phil's dumb enough to support him, it doesn't change anything or justify or make anything right. It's just stupid. It's just two stupid people instead of one. Well, see, I don't do too many videos about Sam, but you know who you know who did the most videos that I can find that are against Sam? Sam. No. Well. well yeah, that's 
that's the correct answer. But that's not what I was going for. Bill, right? True. Uh, Bill may, has made more anti-Sam videos than I know. And everything that he made anti-Sam videos about has not changed. Right? The Mandela effect. It's all the yeah. same. Um, little God. His claims to be a little God. All the same. So... I don't know what to say about that. So, yeah, Sister Sunshine regarding KoreanHooker.com says it's only a sin if you're a Korean hooker. Apparently, you could be a, a web pimp, and it's not sinning unless maybe you take money for it. See, that's the other thing. Maybe Sam somehow he he thinks that he's – because he, remember, he said he hasn't made any money on those domains. Right, right. And, he said that it was his managers that made all the money. None of my business. Whatever he does, just uh, maybe, maybe he feels as long as he didn't make any money on it. I think that that gets us back to this. Understand if you just say cock. Oh come on! Don't say that. I'm just saying she meant to say coke. Maybe it's all alphabets, and you know who knows what's right and what's wrong anymore. Oh, I, I, I don't. That's. Uh, Alphabets are, uh, heck, he, you know, he's fighting over words in the Bible, what it should say, even though he believes in the Mandela effect. And uh, letters and words and alphabets don't matter anyhow, so I don't know why in the world he fights over the meaning of a word. But that's what he does. And that, and that gives us another break on Just Alphabet. JustAlphabetsMedia.com for all of your web and podcast hosting needs. Thank you for that segue there, Sam. Me or Paul, this is ridiculous back and forth. What? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love, yeah, that that laugh is the laugh of a sane person. So, let's <laughs> oh, okay, uh, for that, because for that, let's check it out again. Should you just text me or Paul? This is ridiculous back and forth. What? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is he on right now? Oh, man. Is he on right now? Was that live? No, no, that's an old one. Well, um, it was put up uh, on the 15th. Oh, well, I thought he was mentioning the ridiculous back and forth that I'm talking about now. Oh, it's just it's such a waste. Well, I think he's enjoying the attention. Apparently, he was bored because he wasn't getting any attention. Yeah, I'm giving him some, some more fodder so he can make a jib jab video or something. He's very good at that. Speaking Everyone's got to be good at something. There's two things he's good at, actually. It uh, One is taking people's videos and shaking the screen around and adding like different textures to it, that kind of thing. Are and you, you want? He's yeah. good at that. I was just saying, I, I have a prophecy. You ready for, for back to Rob Reed prophetic word? Yeah. It will not be very long before Bill and Sam are at odds against each other again. Mm. What would it take? I'm trying to think. I don't know what it would take. Um, for Sam to just say something stupid again. Well, maybe maybe Sam won't do what he wants him to do. Yeah, the last time was when he like showed a video of, of Bill's kid or something and called her a stupid uh, gave her a stupid label or something. I think that, yeah. whatever. But that something, something. But he, Bill was good and kind enough to forgive him, and that's good. That's what we're called to do. That's why Sam, for all of your BS, I forgive you constantly. That's why I said it'd be so easy for you just to say to to apologize to me, and that's how easy it would be for me. I'd be like, bygones, man. It's fine. Um, and, and here's the thing, this thing is the, is the crazy thing to me because uh, uh, quite a few people have said this to me, sister sunshine. I think Sam is actually quite smart. He's charismatic and could do a lot of good. If he, if he lets go of this Mandela nonsense in the porn domain. Yeah. Don't you think that it's funny? Did you see Francis Rude's comments, Bruce, on, uh, on the gay erotico.com too? He had a hard time with that. She left some nice comments to me recently, but I read some of that and it didn't even make any sense. At least I could really quite not sure what well, in the world. Talking to people, 
about how there's some people like Jack something or other who had 666 or something on his page, and he's a bad witness for Christ, and she's commenting on a video called gayerotico.com too. And what in the world is she even talking about? Like, uh, and, and the NASB guys and the 333, and uh, it's like, yeah, she's like, um, YouTube loads things full of venom, Jack in the Box, amongst many. You have six all over their YouTube page and all their friends. It's like it, she's just ignoring what's going on. But the other thing that killed me was was Sam's thing. So sad that accusations fly about. Uh, and I per adventure. I'm sure he says per adventure all the time. He's talking with his buddies. You know, I just always fly. And maybe he per here's how he talks. You know, what's that? Yeah, per adventure. I like that. Yeah, I mean, maybe he does actually talk like that. I mean, I don't know. Um, I think he just likes using King James English, you know, and the part of England he lives in and, and the rest of the YouTube communities. Uh, this is why it was needful just to be scripture. Yeah, so he, what the heck? He, he's ignoring the whole thing. I don't get it, man. They can do whatever they want. That's why, I, you know, I mean, that's why I said it. She's laughing at it, and then she's laughing at Bill calling me knob D potato lawyer, which is funny. But it's like, is that a good witness for Christ? She's condemning other people for not being good witnesses for Christ, and yet she's on a very channel that is not a good witness for Christ and participating in it. Ergo... Francis, you're not being a good witness for well, Christ. So about the you're Bible pointing Bible. fingers at others by going like this. You know, it just it's it's silly. <laughs> but yeah, apparently she's good on, on stuff. crazy stuff, man. Yeah, well Do you have clock? You know, sometimes <laughs> remember clock? Do you remember it? Um, yeah, it doesn't have the same ring as Vampire Jew Lawyer. Yeah, that's true. Bruce, do you remember Coke? What? Um, well, I have a, uh, um, I have a, a an uncle. Uh, his name's uh, Alo Kispep. What is it? Yeah, no, no, I do have an uncle, uh, Alo Kispep. No, sir. It's, uh, then if you say it backwards, it's Pepsi Cola. Hmm. What's that? Do you have cock? Remember cock? It's not cock in Korean. What's cock? So do what? you have? What uh, do you yeah. have? Yeah, no. Um, Yakla Si Do you know who? Do you know who Yakla Si Kook is? That uh, that's Archway Cookies backwards. No, but apparently, you know, this is good for uh, Merle. That the Koreans pronounce coke cock. And so maybe that could be a good line that he could use at one of the local bars near the quail farm when maybe he's trying to find a second and third wife. Oh, well, I was just trying to share things I learned in a Christian band when I was a kid. <laughs> Is that all? What else did you learn there? Um, well, we were young. The world was tough. Yeah, well, I got to get back to this. So, Mr. Sunshine thinks he's, he's quite smart. I I can't, I, I view him as a complete moron when I watch his reasoning, when he tries to attack the things that I've said, and his reasoning is just there's total disconnect from reality and from basic logic. I, I don't think it's smart at all. In fact, I would say that one of the least intelligent people that I've encountered on YouTube for any length of time is uh, this particular individual, just based on the things that he said to me. And I don't care the fact that he doesn't like me. People can make good, like, we have moments where I can say, I, okay, because I respect your intelligence, Bruce, where we can have an impasse and I'll respect, I'll, I'll be able to say, I, I can totally agree to disagree because I understand why you think the way you do. I can mm -hmm. never go, I understand why they think you, I can't go, I can't align myself with the logic that says, no, I only supply porn links to people and the, I'm not responsible to only the people that click. That The yeah. person who sticks to that logic is not a smart person. Do you know what I don't like anymore? Racecar.com. 
No matter. Race car? Yeah, if you spell race car backwards, what's it spell? It's the same thing, right? That's what irritates me now. I just learned that. Uh, David showed me. Radar. I think, too. I think I knew that. If you play radar, uh, if you say radar love, it'd be evil, evil radar. No, no. I like that song. Wow. But here's, here's one that David said. The teaching that makes God the author of sin is Calvinism. Don't they hate Calvinism? See, I don't know who teaches that or what. I just, I, I think that it it it's, it totally misses the mark and the point of who God is and why evil exists. Evil, evil does not exist because God put it into uh, purposely into action. If you spell evil, spell live backwards, it, it spells evil. <laughs> That's my said, yeah, yeah, right, love radar and evil uh, radar. It's all backwards. This whole thing, why do we even think backwards now? All because of Sam and the Mandela effect. Yeah. Well, um, pornography. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I know uh, the King James said, it does say that I'm the Lord, I create good and evil, but. The Bible says uh, iniquity was found in, in in Satan, so that's where that's where it was found at. And um, even death is God's enemy. When some God doesn't even take people out, I, mean, I don't believe God because it, it, in First Corinthians chapter fifteen it says uh, uh, death is God's enemy. So uh, even I mean. I don't think God creates evil. You know, he was found in Satan. Yeah, it's it's when he said that, it's it's in recognizing the magnitude of his power, what he has done, uh, and what he can allow to happen. It's a warning. You know, God can allow great evil. He has allowed great evil to exist, but he, yeah. he doesn't go out of his way to create it. I'm looking for that part mm -hmm. in Corinthians uh, that you, you're quoting here about evil. He can use it to, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, to or get the job done. You know, get get what he wants done. Um, I was reading what Sister Sunshine wrote over here, and I was thinking how, you know, it's kind of a shame this so, and it is, but how he bends into mental pretzels like all this stuff, and I thought, you know, man, he can, he can believe whatever the heck he wants, I guess, but you know, it's, it, I mean, I got to the point where I just don't care anymore. I mean. He can do whatever he wants, but um, I'm yeah. not gonna try to like uh, convince him that what he's doing bad or this or that, or he doesn't have to tell me I'm doing bad. Like, I don't care. He can do whatever, live however he wants, do whatever. Uh, however, uh, it does bother me that he screws up other people and people fall into his little trap. And that's the only reason I think I really got involved in it. I Because you, you can't change a guy that's laughing at you and making fun of you and playing games and doing crap like this. He's not going to change. Person only changes when when their when their eyes are opening and they see they're wrong. Then God, yeah. God gives them repentance. It's God. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna disagree with Bruce there because I I think that otherwise, what's the point? Why do I make video? I make videos so that maybe some you know Sabella was able to help him see the light on why what he was doing with Pokemon.net was bad. So. Well, you know, I, I yeah. hope for people that he respects, like Bill and Francis, to not be participants and enablers in his actions by refusing to condemn them and by refusing to condemn them publicly so that I could see it. Right. Um, but I'm just tired of the evil things he does. I mean, and just, just nasty, just out and out, straight and out lies. He doesn't care about shit. Oh, excuse me, he just doesn't care. And, and I'm like, well, I, I, I mean, it's great if other people want to help him. I don't know. I maybe would help him in something, but I mean, with this stuff, I mean, like if he actually really needed help with something, I mean, like his car was broke down or whatever, maybe, maybe, you know, but I'm, I'm kind of like with this stuff. I mean, I don't know. No, I, I, I guess I'm just not in the best of mood with it all. Cause I, I think he's, he's a joke, man. He, he doesn't care. I mean, I don't know. It's just very weird. You know, he, he doesn't like have uh you know what we call it? Like, you know, it's kind of a bad thing when, like, you don't have, uh, you don't feel bad about things you do that are wrong. You, um, and that brings up some of the names and stuff people accused him of being not too long ago. 
<laughs> whatever. Yeah, I, and, and that I'd actually pray for that at least he'd have. I guess that he would actually have conviction. If I were to wish anything on him, that'd probably be that he'd feel conviction. Like if he, but, I, you remember, yeah, Andy Andy Cat did a did a video against me that's on Sam's channel called Rob Reed Christian or Lawyer. Do you remember that? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. And the the substantial amount of his anger towards me was the fact that I use, I don't know if I can, uh, let's see if I can open this up with an application and show, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it up. Let's see if I can. The problem that's one of the, the bugs in this system is that it, it doesn't properly, the, the share screen is pretty lousy. Mm. Yeah, but it's, at least it works. So you kick Sam, now he can't like type away and stuff, can he? No, he could come in, as far as I know, but he's got to actually come in through a YouTube account or his Facebook account. Oh. So now, yeah, unfortunately, he, he wants to stay dishonest and he can't anymore. Anyway, so the, the the picture of the potato was the point, um, and let me see if I can do. That huh. <laughs> forerunner story, that's a tough one, man. It God ordains people to live in sin. I I do have a hard time with that. I'd be like saying that the devil didn't have any choice in the matter. He was ordained to be the devil from the time he was created. It's weird. So yeah. here's here's the potato. Andy Jack got very upset at me just because I posted this. Right? And well, yet pretty sick. And yet Sam posted that on my face with a, an, a, an enhanced glands as a heart. Andy was upset that I put this at all because it was a horrible thing that this was placed on uh, Thick Shade's daughter's face, which I agree is a horrible thing. Yeah. But then he put it on my face showing that you know, the point I'd make to Andy is Sam didn't care. He didn't care. He likes the attention that he can get from it. But he doesn't. it didn't bother him. He doesn't care. That's why he can so freely use this graphic, right? And I'm the potato lawyer to Bill because I did it as well. So that's pretty funny. Mm. Yeah. He's, he's uh, pretty bad right there. I like Sam. I think, uh, but I'm glad God deals with every man his own ability, you know, because uh, Lord, I'd, I'd be hurting if he dealt if he dealt with everybody the same. Because <laughs> yeah. But, well, it was but scripture Bible, talking about getting chastised and uh you know he chastises his own well yeah if you be if you're without chastisement you're a bastard i'm not getting chastised for this particular thing at least i don't think yeah. so i mean but, uh, we'll, uh you'll know when god will we'll know when god chastises us it doesn't feel good i've been chastised by the lord and and and, and it uh it doesn't feel good. Well, he'll spank you, Sam says. And uh, that's maybe the way he knows when he's been bad. You do as much bad. It's, you're really not testing God for doing this, but you do bad things and see how far you can go without getting spanked. As long as you're not getting spanked, you can keep doing it. Well, there's only pleasure in sin for a season, is what the Bible says. When that season runs out, with whipping time comes. When God, does, when, when God comes to spanking, like, uh, like our parents, well, I don't want parents do much of it today, but God comes and does some spanking on people's, you know, I mean, it doesn't feel so good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the KJ version, KJV version. This is for Sam, then, I guess. So let's see if we can share this screen. I thought I seen them uh, really condemning somebody the other day over some adultery or something. I, I didn't watch it. Yeah, and that was the big joke, right? Yeah, I, 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 it was so good, but I didn't even watch it. I saw it and just, you know, didn't 
turned it off. <laughs> I turned it. Eh. They can do what they want to do. It's, it's between them and God. Yeah, this is Isaiah testifying, prophesying about God and God's word and what he says. Mm -hmm. And he's talking about his power. And he says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, do, I the Lord, do all these things. Um, drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation. Let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. He's allowed, he's created the whole system, the way everything works. And in that, he has allowed people to do evil. And how we can assess whether something's evil or good is because God is the measure. That's not like let, let the tares and the wheat grow together. That's about, like it corresponds with that. Mm -hmm. I think so. And then and I am the Lord and there is no one else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. He's God is angry here and he's telling the people of Israel, presumably, I didn't read the context before, but it's like, you, you guys aren't respecting me. Look at what I allow. Look at what happens. Look what has come into play in the earth. I can create calamity. I've created a system of the earth that has hurricanes and earthquakes. Now, granted, all those things are necessary. You know, they just, there are scientific reasons that we've discovered why those things have to happen, whether it's to relieve pressure, when things shift and, you know, things just happen to move here. And when you, we're, we exist on a, a ball that has primarily water, there are going to be a lot of weird things. And when wow. we decide, when we decide, we decide to build on the coast and do all these things that we do, things are going to happen. No, it's like, uh, God is so, uh, uh, Magnificent. He's so, I mean, he's infinite and we're finite. So, I mean, who are we to, I mean, you know, I mean, uh, he set all that in order. Well, I, I think to, to, to use this, which is God, God can't do evil. God does not do evil. No. And to say, since, since God said, what is the point that Sam's trying to make? Since God is saying that he created evil here because Sam believes he's the son of God. It's okay for him to create evil. Is that the point that he's trying to say? Somebody else have something to, to explain that in the comments? Is that what's going on? Well, if it is, he, if it is uh, he, he, he's uh, raised him. He's uh, has exalted himself by up to the standard of being God. That's exactly right. Well, if you're not supposed to cause people to stumble, then I don't even know why you play around with stuff on purpose that you knew was really bad. I mean, there is no lesson in it either. It's not like, you know, it's a TV show or music or something. I mean, it, it's it's dang on, um, you know, what it went to. We all know that, where it went. Well, it's sicko. That's why I said you, you argue with that guy. There's, what's the sense of it, you know? You're... Here's yeah, that. no, that's how I feel, but it's just yeah. it was the fact I, I saw that video today. I thought it was pretty funny. I didn't anticipate I would be on here for like an hour and a half almost now. But the work day was nearing its end, and I thought that I'd make a little joke video. And when I played the video, I was prepared to leave, but I was glad some people came in and wanted to chat. So I can't spend too much time here. I was hoping that Sam would come as he is, and uh, he could – try and intelligently address these points rather than just say, excuse me, that I'm wrong or that I'm a false accuser without specifically saying what I'm false accusing about. He owns the domains. That much is clear. He can direct where those domains point. That much is clear. And six months ago, those domains pointed to pornography. That's all clear and proven. And one of them was a trademarked children's toy name that went to cartoons that had deviant sex. All of that is true. There's no false. So where outside of that is the false witness? Well, is it false? Hey, what do you think about what I say about Google sinning? <laughs> what? The only thing that I, I know is for many, many years, him with that laugh, just laughing at people, making fun of them. 
always with the nastiest, meanest people supporting their uh, beating the crap out of people, whether they be non-believers or, excuse me, but loving Christians. You can't have that. And mm -hmm. whatever it was. I mean, if, if there were people who claimed to be Christians just beating the hell out of people in the name of God, he would support them. You know? And he's always been there. And then making videos laughing at people. It's like, and I don't know. What can, it would be no surprise, I guess. By the way, I, I, I finally got I finally got to send you uh, the stuff I was going to send you. I was supposed oh, to send you. Really? No, man. We'll have to talk yeah. about that. I didn't know. Okay. I mean, I knew you had talked about it. Wow. Well, it was, it was sent to me to, to forward over to you. So I've done that. So you should be get. I think you get it tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. I know that, well, there's shipping involved. That's what I wanted to ask you about. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing it. I do. Yeah. So I, it's coming soon. Oh, cool. Maybe by Christmas. Well, it'll be there before. And I think that he, he, he wrote a nice Christmas card too, which I have not yet opened because I was instructed not to. Okay. Thank so, you. Yeah. So uh, let's see what here. I hope you. Matt says, I hope you sent Bruce a tasty fruitcake. I didn't. <laughs> It was the book that caused Bill great angst. Um, the, a copy was given, an inscribed signed copy was sent to me to forward over to my friend Bruce, which I finally did after. Oh, well, new, um, new Genesis and uh, Janet, they're conspiring, I noticed, um, to buy me a coffee grinder. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, well, it is nice, and I I um, uh, I found one. Um, well, wait, let me see if I have a uh, um, wait, okay, I'll see if I can put it in the chat, inside chat, right, or outside chat. I can. Will it allow me to put a link there? Yeah, well, I I hope so. I mean, I think that you're. Uh... Uh, that's the only thing I'm asking. Uh. Um, yeah, that's it. Cause, cause I figured I like the idea that it, you can only put one small amount of beans in at a time. It's what they call a single doser. Instead of having a, a big thing on the top, it holds all the beans, a canister. You just put like one shot at a time's worth, grind them up. That way I wouldn't be wasting a lot of extra money. So I'd appreciate if people could contribute and buy me that I had got one, but I think this would be better than the one I have. Do you want people to contribute? You got to buy me that coffee grinder. All right. I, I also need, I forgot, I should be advertising right. the thing that's most take important. Take a look. Take a look, Rob. See what you think. I think I'm going to look at it in a sec. I have a feeling that it's funny. So hold on. But let me, I'm going to scroll something down. Get you a Keurig, uh, Bruce. <laughs> I have one. It was actually my Keurig sitting on the floor in the living room. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm doing a Christmas concert next Sunday at 3:30 p.m. Pacific time. Maybe I need to edit that. Um, and if you want to come in, if anyone wants to come in, you know, I'll put up a link. If you play guitar and you want to play a little worship, if you want to read something like Matt L, if you wanted to read Luke, uh, the the portion that talked about. Uh, the birth of Christ, that would be really cool. Or anybody can come in and the purpose of it is, let's see, let me write that down too, is uh, donations. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. Adult soul. What it's somebody all right, so somebody saw it already. So what? Wait. I'm reading the comments. I'm missing who needs donations for what? Are you talking about something serious, Rob? Yeah, but I'll tell you in a sec. I got to find, let me go. Okay. I'm going to type. In, so it's a whole lot of love. You can't just click on it. Oh, 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 I see. You have to search on something else. Yeah, not in here. And it won't even let me cut and paste it because it's got something where I can show it on the screen. Um, oh, wow. There's an overlay over it that I can't <laughs> bypass. It's called a C E A D O 
E3, no, wait, E37Z. Yeah, and it's, uh, let me see, right now it's on sale. Uh, it was normally 6500 Right now it's on sale for 5500 I think it would actually be a very nice uh, economic uh, coffee grinder. I think it would be very precision, actually. I, I do believe it would be precision. Um, I see 5500 and right, you can get right. it in time for Christmas. I, I'd like to have it by Christmas, absolutely. You know, um, I think it would why be is that, why is it so much money? Um, well, I think I think some of it is obviously due to its tolerances and that everybody damn well knows it's good. It's got huge, monstrous burrs. Um, I mean, they're very, very large, which does is help. that one of the James domains? <laughs> yeah right no no it, it's just super, it's super high quality and precision and i would say i, I to me it's like it's just obviously for people who have more money than they know what to do with i guess because i know well i can't say i know it would be my belief that a thousand to 1500 bucks would buy you like insane quality i i don't know man i mean people can do what they want the coffee want. grinder though it's like it's not a rolex um, it's better than a Rolex. Uh, a Rolex, um, look, a Rolex can't wake you up. It doesn't have an alarm in it. Yeah, coffee will wake you up. You know, and there's a big difference between uh, waking up to drink coffee and drinking coffee to wake up. You know, so I mean, I think something like this has its place. Uh, Brett, uh, Brett McCord was talking about a domain, so he. he there's a new domain pointed to you, or is that the same one? I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, he said that he went to the link that you put in. It went to your channel? No, man. That, that link I put in should go right to uh, the whole lot of love thing with the grinder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Matt else says, imagine the chicken coops you could build for $5,500. <laughs> anyway, oh, actually, imagine the freaking car you could have for that kind of money. And that was <laughs> well, well, I yeah, think, I, I think that that's where, um, and I, I took New Genesis wrong last night. She was she called me an idiot. She has to understand when you call somebody an idiot, sometimes they get upset. Because I said that I spent like 160 or whatever it is, somewhere about that, plus shipping or tax, I guess. And I was like, well, it was, you know, it was a good deal, actually. And I'm, and it's cheap, you know, and yet I know it's expensive and yet it's cheap. It's kind of a weird thing. It's all perspective. So and that's why they said they would get me what I want. Like, I'm like, well, here then, how about this one? <laughs> okay, so it's maybe a little bit over the top. Do you think, Rob, or is that like? Yeah, I, I think that I would, if, if I won the lottery, I won $500 million in the lottery, I would not buy a $5,500 Hero coffee grinder. It just wouldn't happen. Seattle Hero. How about, how about like, if you, what about like, say, 600 to 1,000, 2,000, somewhere in there, and sitting at your coffee bar? No. Well, what if it, you knew that it worked like 10 times? It looked like, if I could drive it, if it looked like a Ferrari and I could drive it around the street while I was grinding gr coffee, then maybe I'd do that. But okay. it, Suppose that you had a $2,000 grinder and this like incredible espresso machine. You were the barista and you noticed that it brought in lots of women to your new pool and you could have a lot more wives by performing in front of them, you know, making these drinks. Yeah, and they well, would be there, and I, be the I, only, I only want one wife. How about happy that you were? No, actually, I think the wife, well, if you had that kind of money, then she'd be happy even if you did spend it. So what the heck are we arguing about? It doesn't matter. You could spend that kind of money and it wouldn't matter. Or you could give it to somebody in need. I don't know. Let's do this though. See, you know, that's here's small, the new aside. True, back. I, the purpose of the Christmas concert. I don't know how long it's going to go, and I don't know how many people will show up. But I'm hoping to just draw attention to Tierra del Sol, which is a great organization that's in the San Fernando Valley that is helping those who are developmentally disabled to um, to find their own path, particularly helping them to find jobs. And 
what I'd like to try and do with our community, and again, in the spirit of Christmas, as Matt L said, uh, I want to just raise a hundred bucks for them. And if we could get more, that'd be great. But I'm hoping that the community here can do something nice, our little small community. And then maybe one of the things I'm thinking of is that maybe bi-monthly, we pick uh, some place, a ministry or something where we could donate some money and have a little concert related to it. So that that's what I'm hoping to do. So I'm advertising that down below. It'll be next Sunday at 3.30 p.m. on this channel. And if, if you would like to participate, and I'm not just saying you, Bruce, or anybody, whether it's spoken word, a poem that you wrote, reading Twas the Night Before Christmas, uh, reading scripture, whatever you want, you know, that would be really awesome. And uh, it'll make the show more interesting than just listening to me sing some Christmas songs. Maybe uh, my wife, I'm hoping, will join. I, men I casually mentioned it to her last night. She, she didn't seem to be totally off board. She just said she wanted me to clean up that messy man cave if I wanted her to hang out in there. So I've got some work to do this week. But I, I hope that we can get at least a couple people there. And if we can raise 100 bucks and give to Tierra del Sol and then start a pattern where maybe we can pick a charity uh, a couple times a year, maybe six times a year, maybe 12 times a year, even if it's just, you know, me writing a check and we've all donated like 20 bucks or something, it's, it's something. And we're doing some positive in the community rather than dwelling on porn domains. How's that sound? Wait, um, no, 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 no. Evicted thing. I'm starting. You're, you're talking about important stuff. I bring up uh, this goofy thing. And now we're talking about grinding a quail and stuff. And then I have to come back to seeing what you're thinking about. And then we got porn. And then what you're talking about, it's like, oh, geez, like, you know, you're talking about something serious here. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't I, I have intentions to donate to organizations and they don't have to be only Christian that are designed not to necessarily help unless the group decided, let's say somebody was really hurting uh, or there was a, a good story. Somebody needed groceries for the week or something, something like that to donate for some, you know, a quail farm or somebody's personal thing. Well, yeah. Cleaning up after the concubines or something. I don't know what in the world. Yeah. I, I'm not looking for, for, for people to get personal gain necessarily, unless it's an absolute need. And when you've decided to create a quail farm, you know, you can get donations for that, but that's not the kind of thing that I'm talking about. I'm talking to people no. who, uh, you know, who are going to do some good for other people. That's what I'm looking for. And Tierra del Sol, again, I'll put the uh, banner there. You can't really. Okay. But they, they are an awesome organization. I tried to play. Let me see if I can play their video, actually. That'll be the thing that I'm going to go out on. What um, shame you can't do anything like to raise some money for a porn domain or something to try and get that going. Well, no, I, 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 that's not really what I'm going after. Jeez. Unfortunately, I thought you were a Christian. <laughs> yeah. It's not about being Christian. It's just that I'm tired of the of all the crap. Hmm. Uh, yeah, here it is. All right. So this is, I know I'm friends with um, the uh, the lady here. She goes to my church and her name's Rebecca Leinhardt. And she, I forget what she's called. She's kind of a big wig there. I think she's the one that's in charge. And they just put out this video and I'm going to share it with everyone here. If you didn't see it, because I put it on my last video, but unfortunately there wasn't sound. So that was kind of, that was kind of sucky. So let's let's see if I can play this for you. The sound won't be too big, but this is an awesome video. I think Tara has always committed to creating a sense of empowerment for people, creating really innovative strategies to help folks with disabilities be fully included in their communities. We focus on college to career, workforce development, 
and career in the arts. We really believe that people can find their voice, find their true gifts in this world, and find a way of just being part of their communities. Tierra partners with 40 to 50 employers who employ our folks. Everyone from the Universal Hilton to the Los Angeles Daily News to Hamer Toyota. I mean, it really spans the gamut. We've had Tierra clients at our facility for almost four years now, and they really have just become an integral part of our entire operation. We've learned just the just the amount of work that they're willing and capable of doing, and I think and I think that that has just made a huge difference in how we operate and how we run the Science Center. We see Connor at the front giving high fives as they walk in and Leon's in Eco Market with Julie and we've just created a new position for Debbie. So she's been working in the retail store, which is really neat. My main job is to interact with children and it's a great pleasure to help them. Workforce development, uh, volunteerism, employment, internship, you name it, Tierra has a strategy to help a unique individual find their pathway forward in this world. Tierra did so they helped me find a job and then they helped me become independent. I can use my picture to pick out my parents for dinner. It feels good to earn a paycheck because I get to spend money money that I earn. When somebody has really found their home, whether it's through contributing as an artist, going to school and really being part of a university or community college campus, really a part of it, or finding that right match at employment. My well is filled and it's filled with hope. If we all just kind of took that time to, to really look at people for who they really are, I think people would be so surprised and so thrilled about who their community really is. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. The chair del soul dot org. I don't know if it's dot com, but yeah. Um the, the easiest PayPal to reach me. I was hoping that we could do it sort of on the fly. And as I, I got some stuff coming in, I mean, if you want to do it early, that's perfectly fine. Um, we'll have a list. So if, if you're not on that list, that way, you know, that I'm not ripping you guys off and getting and taking your money. We'll have a whole list and you can be anonymous if you want. And I'll, I'll tell you, like when I get something, if you send it to me, you can let me know who you are. And then I'll, I'll, respond to it and say like you're anonymous number one and then i'll when i do a list it'll be anonymous number one donated x and then you'll be able to identify yourselves so the paypal i'll make a, a banner for that the pay my paypal the easiest one is you can paypal to uh my general gmail account this is the one that sam already sends a lot of junk email to um is Robert Reed at gmail.com. So if you if you send PayPal to there, make sure that I know who you are and then also let me know in comments if you want to remain anonymous and say that it is for uh, our giving, Christmas concert giving or whatever like that. And every donation that comes in, we're going to itemize it. And if we can't reach a hundred bucks, I'm going to guarantee we're going to get there. But I wanted as a community to see if we can do something nice, especially around the time of Christmas. And uh, dedicated in the name of Thick Shades, too. I don't know. I was right? thinking, uh, well, yeah, like if you hired them to work. Well, no. Um, yeah. How much do you get paid, like, for for running and putting the organizing it? Nothing. Oh, Should I, I take the money for that? Yeah, I would think like maybe 90% or so, you know, give 10%. No, basically what it's going to be, I mean, it's, it's, I'd have to do it anyway, right? So what I'm going to end up doing is, pro is just practicing. Um, if you don't know and you're watching this, there are eight people now watching now. I'm a worship leader at Lifehouse Church in Northridge. So I'm the guy that's in charge of making sure that we have music and what we play for the Christmas Eve service. Uh, at 5 p.m. Pacific, and uh, I'm just going to be practicing music. That's what I've already done, a few songs. And 
I figured since I'd be practicing anyway, that why not do it live on the fly? Maybe I can get my wife to join. We'll sing songs. We'll take requests. If I don't know the song, I can find the chords online. And again, like I said, it's open to anybody. So if you know somebody who's a worship leader, if you if you play guitar and you play worship, come on in. If it's not a worship song or a Christmas song, it's probably not appropriate. It doesn't even have to be a religious one, though. If you wanted to sing uh, Let It Snow, why not? You want to you wanna sing Let It Snow, Bruce, on Sunday? Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know any songs too well. I did. I'd have to, uh, I could learn it, maybe. I'm kidding. Okay. But That's a good thing. I'd like, how about a Johnny Cash version of Hark the Herald Angels Sing? Uh, I don't know how many chords are in it. There's probably a lot, I would think. Didn't it? Kind of like, uh, like a many. song? We just played it last weekend. Hmm. And it's, uh, yeah, there, there are quite a few, but. It's not too bad. I can send you a copy. That's what I'll do. How about I do that? Okay, okay. okay. I have, uh, I think, because I think I have the music in my email. G, D, G, C. Men are already way over my head. D, G. We, we, played, it in, we played it in D. We played it in D. So let me... Glory to the newborn king. I can't Perfect. Sing. You know, I can't sing. We I got porn domains, baby. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to send you to, to the, uh, <clears throat> the email that you have for Blessed Bible Fight Club. <laughs> no. no, don't. No, no, okay, go ahead. It's not that far. The, the only one I have. Good, okay, no, that's good, good. No, that's great. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry. I No, I don't want to be. I apologize. Um all right, so there you go. I shouldn't. Um, oh, wait. Um, there we go. I think I'm still in StreamYard here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see yeah, that? That's super easy. <laughs> yeah. I can't see. Hold on. I'm outside of the stream right now. <laughs> oh, my. Terrible, terrible. All right, no, so Matt left a comment and I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, Sister Sunshine's the one that said, Will it grind the coffee grinder? Will it grind up a quail? That's not funny. That That's sad, actually. I think a roasted quail. Uh, you know what? Maybe Deborah can sing. Deborah has a great voice, right? I would love for her to sing. I have to admit, you know what that might equate to, maybe? Like having a, say you had a Corvette and you were happy with that. But instead you thought, well, I need this new Bugatti. You know, I got to have this, this, you know, it might be a couple million dollars, but somehow you justify you have to have this particular one, you know? You know what I mean? Maybe it's kind of like that kind of thing. I mean, it's kind of like, Oddly enough, they are selling them. That's what's uh, really weird. Well, the reason that those are stupid money is because they're amazing technology. How and you can go fast, right? I mean, what, coffee making coffee. No, no. What it comes to, in all honesty, really, I'll tell you where it comes down. What the deal is, what people are paying for. One, one big thing would be it's the quality of the grind and how precise it is that you're going to get even extraction. You could already argue and argue over this stuff. The other thing is it is designed that what you grind is exactly what falls through and it's not stuck in there giving you old tastes from the grinds like ours or the day before, you know. It, it And it's just super, super nice. You can 
you have a couple different speeds if, if you feel that it might be like chance running too fast and heating up and burning and messing up your beans and losing taste you could slow it down it is super super incredible you know is it needed no but just like that bugatti is not needed or uh a movie theater instead of a house you know you could you could you let's could see let's see what sister sunshine would do sister I, sunshine would she you always, ever would she would buy, you ever buy a fifty five hundred dollar coffee grinder would you buy uh would you rob buy a five hundred thousand dollar car though i mean who cares about going fast i probably would if i had that kind of money i think I, the car i would for home, for, use, for home use i'm spending 200 bucks tops I can barely hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you either too well. But that for home that use, two hundred bucks. That also would come down to if you knew why you wanted it or didn't want it. You have to know why you would want it or not want it. If you can't come up with a reason why, then it's absolutely foolishness. If there's a reason why you would want it, then I could understand it, especially if it makes sense. But if there is no reason other than if it's just pretty to look at in numbers, it doesn't mean anything. The, you know, you have to have a reason. You have to, for me to even understand it. Somebody has to be able to throw a reason in front of me why it would be of importance. I think what happens is it's, it's not important. The issue would be like there's better purposes for the money spent, I guess. I, well, going fast, the speed limit is 65, so that's not a good reason for you to say, you know, if you can't drive fast, that doesn't make sense either. You can't drive 200 miles per hour. Well, you can if you go to a racetrack. You can go to racetracks. Well, yeah, but you could have the. Um, I'm trying to think, what else do people spend insane money on that's. Uh, Homes, houses. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can sell something, I kind of look at anything you buy. If you can sell it for more, and than, it's, you, you know, with baseball, money, baseball yeah. cards is another thing. I've spent stupid yeah. money on baseball cards. Yeah, I would say that you, you'd probably lose money on that thing. But if you bought it used and got a good deal, you could probably get your money back. Um, a lot of, I guess, there are different things in life you can do that, and some things you can't. Um, computers are like a big waste of money that way. You kind of use it for a couple of years and it's it loses a lot of value usually usually yeah david thought that you were being uh suffocated sister sunshine what? so you're probably on your phone and you're driving no no i'm actually laying in bed right now no she, he's lying he's driving her car no she and my beat headphones i guess don't like i don't know i thought they did i thought beat well, you headphones sound a little bit better there yeah, the I switched Bruce over could. to my. I switched over to my earbuds. I don't know. Does anybody use these Beats Beats brand? Do they have a mic on them? I thought they did. What? The but if it did, if it did, it was really low. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess maybe they're just audio only then. That's weird. What are yeah. they? The Beats headphones. What are they? Beats. I never heard of it. Beats by, by Dr. Dre. Yeah, it's, they're the BEA, BEATS Beats brand. Where do you buy them? Um, I got, they're I got, yeah, they're expensive. I got them at the Apple Store. Um, they're a couple hundred bucks, so that's why I'm surprised that the mic didn't work well. They're a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, I got these for free though when I bought my laptop. Okay, they now were that giving them for free. That, that explains. I gave you the defective one to say. How yeah. dare trust on me? It's like <laughs> they gave me the craptastic ones. I guess that's weird though that they wouldn't have a good mic on them. Wow. You know, that that's is strange. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's high quality but not very loud. No, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Matt, I'd say if if this is to Matt, invite Deborah if you can if you're on their channel and alive. Happy to have uh, Deborah sing. The only thing is, I don't know whether they sing Christmas music or not. But worship any worship song, an old hymn, or something she likes, she can throw that up. I'm cool. I with bet. That. She, I bet she. I bet she would because she she sings pretty well. Yeah. yeah, I've heard. I've heard it. She's fantastic. Yeah. See, not driving. Not driving in bed. Oh, I thought that they are, and you hit something, and their back flop hit you, and that's why your mic was so quiet. No, hope, no, my my neck's bothering me so. Uh, I was going to say, I hope you're feeling okay. It's probably the only reason you'd be lying down. 
Yeah, it's just my neck. My neck's bugging me. Uh, we, I had to go to West Hollywood on on Saturday. I'm sorry. And I know, right? I freaking hate Hollywood. Anyway, and so the traffic, of course, was awful. And we were we were in the fast track lane. But, you know, when people cut into the fast track lane, they're not supposed to. But they, there's people that still will cut over. And so we were in the fast track lane and some some idiot cut over. And uh, so my husband really had to slam on the brakes. And, you know, I had that neck surgery a couple of years ago. And so um, my neck was really hurting, but I went and I had, uh, they did x-rays today and they said, it's fine. It's just, it's just a, a sprain. You know, I just have to kind of take it easy for a couple of days. So, so I'll be fine. It's just more comfortable for me to lay down than it is to, to try to sit up. All right, good. Well, I, yeah. I will I pray for you, of course. I hope that it, the healing comes fast and it won't be hurting you too much. Oh, I'm thank you. Good. Yeah, but I think I, it'll, I, it'll get better with I, some rest. Can I confess something though? What's that? Every morning, I have to take the 118 to take my son. First of all, well, I don't take the 405. I just go direct onto the 118 freeway in the San Fernando Valley to take my son to school. Uh huh. And it's super slow. And the one lane that is not super slow. Sounds like Sam. We don't, don't call it the fast track lane. It's just the carpool lane. And it's double lined for a long period of time. It doesn't make any sense. I... I sneak in there, but I make sure that no one's behind me with a bad neck. Oh, you're one of those. You're one of those people that mess it up for everybody. No, well, look, I, I have my son, so I'm fine. It's legal for me to be in that lane. It's That's just true. the city designed it so that when I get on the freeway, I gotta go like two miles in order to, or two and a half, to be able to more to move over when I see all the traffic going like this, and I'm sitting. And standing, right. So I, I've been doing it for a year and a half now, oh. and I've yet to be pulled over. But every <laughs> day, I do it every day. Yeah, we do the fast track. We have the little, you know, we have the transponders in our cars, uh -huh. and that's the only thing that makes life tolerable. You know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned, I can't stand to sit sit in traffic jams. But there's always the yahoos that see what they don't realize. They they think if they go onto the fast track half, you know, after the, the, the gate that beeps your transponder, they think they're getting over, but they're really not because every single person that uses fast track, your license plate gets a photograph. And so if you don't have a transponder and you're not in there, if your plate's not in their system, guess what? You're getting a big, huge ticket because they will mail that to your house. Well, they, they tell you, because I've been on the fast track in Orange County. I think it's the same thing. And there's a yeah. sign there that says, if you don't have a transponder, you have to go to this website and pay an X amount of days. I've done that. Yes. Yeah. So my, is, my son was, was uh, working with a guy and this was before they added that pay online option it used to be, you either had to have your transponder or your license plate had to be registered and you had to have money in your account that was tied to that plate. Uh, and he, he, like an idiot, he decided to go half and half with this guy because they were carpooling a lot to work. Well, my husband, or my husband, my son changed jobs and he didn't undo this. Well, this guy was using fast track left, right, and center. And my son got a bill for, uh, by the time it was all said and done, it was over $10,000. Oh my the, God. Yes. With the fines and everything. And so my, my son had to go to he, he went to fast track and, he, you know, and basically they thankfully they let him off the hook uh, because he was able to prove that wasn't his car. You know, he had to go through a lot, but we were really w worried there for a little bit because we thought that he was going to be on the hook for $10,000. So those That's finds that up fast. Wow. Yeah. Cause I think it's like, isn't it like a three or $500 ticket for every offense that you're using the carpool lane? Well, if you're no, well, if you're using it without someone in the car with you, it's three fifty now, I think. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, the, I, I did get hit hard in San Francisco because I thought that that system would be like um, it was in the fast track, where I could yeah. go on and I could do it. No, nah. so they hit me for like I think I got, I think I got fined thirty five bucks or something for something that would have cost me two dollars. 
That's that's so, not too bad. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, I mean that was fine, but it was like okay, and I an added cost to the little, you know, I, I convinced my wife to let me take my son on the last day of school. The first thing she did allowed because she's she was great. She's tiger mom when it comes to school stuff. <laughs> last day of school, and I said, Let me take him out of school. And not only do I want to take him out of school, I want to drive up with him to San Francisco. I want to make the game that the Dodgers are playing the Giants that night, and we're going to go the next day, and we're going to hang out. We'll come. We'll drive home on Sunday. And she's like, all right. And uh, needless to say, it cost – it was a lot of money, especially because we didn't sit in the boondock somewhere. We had great seats. It was a nice father-son weekend, and uh, that just added to the, you know, the already exceeded budget. So it was – Oh, Yeah. Not yeah. look upon family because AJ, of course, is very honest. My son, he goes, Yeah, dad, there was a sign that said to pull over cash <laughs> only, but dad didn't have any cash in his wallet at the time. So dad just threw so past it. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> like, I could have gone over there and they would have taken a car. I don't know, but I, you know, maybe yeah. I could have gotten a car, like IOU or something, but I just drove right through. Oh, how funny! Yeah. Yeah, My, down here. There's a San Marino Bridge or something that they had there. It was really cool where you drive over water. It's neat. Ugh, but, no, no thanks. But, ever, ever since the earthquake there back in the late 80s or whatever it was, or the early 90s, I've always been paranoid on the Bay Bridge or any of those, the double-decker ones. I don't like them. I've heard of walking well, over water, but driving over water, that's too much. Yeah, yeah that a hundred. But, I, you know, what are you going to do that – I drive over bridges and things all the time here, overpasses. You, you can't. I think about it occasionally, but you can't live your life like Wait, that. Wait, what's this place about? Yeah. You're talking about? Is it like not a normal bridge, or what's the deal with this particular place? They go. They oh, go across right. the bay. They go from like I think oh. what is it, Alameda to San Francisco, and then Oakland. To so San yeah, it was, it was so you're talking about a like, long, long way to get together. It's very long. Yeah, it's like yeah, they, they paved like they paved over the ocean somehow. I do don't know. know. And do you know what? We're right on. Hopefully, hopefully this will explain some of what I think I deal with. I think that is similar to agoraphobia, but something that anybody, in other words, instead of just driving somewhere and fearing you're going to have a you could have a panic attack and not be able to get help. I think that's the same thing, except it's enough to affect a lot of people that don't have agoraphobia to be like, what, a couple miles, whatever, out across something like that. And you go, well, how the heck do you get off? How do you turn around? How you do don't. You, how do you, you get don't. out? Right. That's the point. And I, so I, I think it's similar, except it's just more extreme than what we norm, most people normally have to deal with. Yeah. I don't like any of them. The one, the one going from Oakland to San Francisco, that's a double, it's a double decker. And, and so you're even you're kind of like enclosed if you're on the bottom deck you're you're closed in because there's another layer of the bridge on top of you you know so you it's, it's much an even worse fear. would they allow you to like just have like a big container full of volume and you could stand there and just people could pull <laughs> up and roll their window down and you can you know them, for, you can sell them, for you know, a you, while you can there make used money, to you know? be for a while there, you after the earthquake, they had people that you could pay to drive you in your car. Oh wow, well, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that you could you could pay them and they would drive you across the bridge and they would basically spend all day just driving scary. people back in cars back it's and forth across the bridge. That, though, what that What's shows, that? Well, the scary part about that is you still would get stuck just the same, but the difference is I mean it's a shame, but maybe people fear they will freak out and not be able to drive. I don't know. I don't know. Or they just don't yeah. like fear of having to think of pushing on the gas, putting on the brakes and flipping out at the sitting. I don't know. I, I, don't, I know. don't care about getting stuck. I just don't want to be on it when the when a big earthquake in the in the Bay Area oh. hits because I don't want to be plunging in my car a well, few that's, hundred that's feet that's into the ocean. Reason. Yeah, that, but chances of that are probably slim. But could happen. I don't know. That's the same reason I don't like to take Bart. I mean, other than other than Bart is full of freaks most of the time. Uh, I don't want to go under the bay. I I don't know. I think that if I were in an airplane, once I just accepted that, holy heck, this is what's I don't what I, I suspect it'd be like getting on a ride at 
an amusement park or something, you go, oh, gee, here we go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't see out. You know, you're just in a, <laughs> I mean, you're like just in a concrete. Yeah, you're just in a concrete tunnel, so it's not like you can see out. But to me, oh, I'm like, no, I know that I'm under the bay. And if the big one hits, or you know what I mean, oh, or you're a terrible, about, we were talking about being over the bay. Yeah. Well, oh, you were talking about bridges, and now you're talking about going under the bay. Either way, yeah, or. the the BART system. It's the uh, it's the rapid transit. Rapid rapid transit. You get in on one side, and then it actually goes underneath the the bay, and then. And the other part scary about being over the bay is probably looking out. <laughs> when you look down, you go, "Whoa!" I suppose it's that high, you know. Um, it's high, but you can't you can't get close enough to the edge in your car to where you can really see down. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, because they're they're <laughs> on some of the bridges, like on the Golden Gate. There's walkways on both sides because that's how people get out get up on the side to jump off. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. but I, I think it was just interesting listening to you guys talking about that because and brett brett i think he feels the same yeah you feel trapped you know and i think it is sort of that the best i can figure what you're describing and and the fact that people yeah. pay people to take them it's got to be similar you know uh, every time I'd, be on there, I, I'd be lying to say that i do, I didn't think but when i went on the the bridge i'm talking about though sister sunshine the, the toll one it's not even really a bridge it's like paved over the water i think it could be a, a low suspension bridge I, wow. i'm not sure but it's yeah. like the water is at your level when you're going across the bay it's pretty awesome that's Ooh, pretty i haven't i don't think i've been on that one it's, i think they call it the san marino or not san marino san mateo or whatever city's up there the san mateo bridge? Do, uh, when global oh. warming sets in they're gonna have a problem man. Yeah. maybe I, that's the end but, of it but I, I'm going to be, I have to head out. It looks like Thick Shades made a third video. Oh, no, but, really? Let's <laughs> let, let just, let me, let's go to see, like, his, the first comment, I'll oh, end God. there. Oh, come three. It's gayauditor.com <laughs> <laughs> three. Did you get a chance to check out Mr. Roboto yet? Why? Oh, Mr. You, did you did that? I, I left a message on the, on the, the Hitler video. If you, D David Chappelle, that he's a he. They used to do a skit called the Haters, and it was a bunch oh. of guys that are dressed as pimps, and they're called the Haters. And there's one of them that's a Korean pimp, and he's <laughs> called Mr. Roboto, and he's hilarious. It's hilarious. I, I oh, did see oh. that. Yeah, let's let's listen to the brilliance here. Just the first part. All right, Rob. Well, um, this is a, a very simple question for you. I don't know why you just cannot answer. And then you have to uh, set up some sort of strong. I'm muting you. Uh, I master, stopped. Masturbation. <laughs> what did uh, he say? You See, look what you did. Masturbation. Um, master of the masturbation. The master of masturbation. You, know, you are a sin creator. Sin creator. You know, That's a new uh, one. Sin creator. Sin creator. That's new. Sinning. Because I uh, have uh, you know, um, I got that, I that search results. Uh, See, now he's he, he's saying that I strongman and he's strongmanning right now. I've never said that he's, although I, I never thought about it, I never said that he's sinning because he owns gayerotico.com. I said that the sin was when it was containing content. So you see, the straw man is when you're arguing something saying somebody's arguing something that they're not arguing. So I've yeah. never argued that. So right now you're starting at a straw man, Sam. The sin Let's didn't go back until the, boy that day, until the day that boy was was conceived. Yeah. Search results uh, like Google. Wait, um, and that if you had porn search results uh, like Google, um, then Google is sinning, right? Now that one I, I've argued. If you own a, a, a website or a domain that contains content, let's say a search engine that allows people to search for pornography, you are actively participating and leading people into sin and you are indeed sinning. Does anyone here disagree with that? Well, even if, even if he wants to try to pretzel out of it and say it's not sinning, he still has the appearance of sin, which we're to avoid. Yeah, and that's what I would say with the domains. I never have addressed that, 
and thinking about it, yeah, I don't think a Christian should own pornogirls.net. But all right, let's keep going. Yeah, the Bible shun the very appearance of evil. Yeah. Let's say K radical or like porno girls. By the way, when he was saying all that thing, it was a picture of me as a bell humping a Christmas tree. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Where does he get the cartoons? It's all, yeah, it's all jib -jab. But I mean, that's that whole thing. Let, let's let me show you what I was talking about. Like this is the the holier than thou good Christian who <laughs> I, I gotta head home pretty soon. But I, this has to be uh, shown. It's it's hilarious. This is the guy who's telling me how to be a proper Christian. Let's see. And okay, so you've got a potato and a bell. Okay. Excuse me that I'm singing because I have GayRadical.com and that if you have porn search results uh, like Google, <laughs> um, then Google is singing, right? Because, you know, I guess according to uh, your logic, then God is singing because God also created and provided evil. You know, wait, 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 wait. It's just like saying Bill Gates is a sinner because he created the internet. You know, this is ridiculous. No, no. It's, it's, somebody can create the, yeah, exactly. I mean, but the internet can be used for bad things. The universe can be used for bad things. Our life can be used for bad things. God didn't create. God allowed that. He created this that would allow evil to exist. But you have free act. will. Well, he likes to play God in saying that it's not his fault that people choose whether to click there or not, regardless, and the parents are at fault if their kids get on there. It's not his fault. It's, you know, we've been through all this stuff. It's unbelievable, and he keeps coming back with this. His, his, pride, his pride won't let him admit that he is doing something wrong. His pride won't let him, you know, lose face or back down. So the, the farther he gets, well, the farther he gets painted into a corner, the more mental gymnastics, double speak, and and self justifying has to and occur. Straw manning. And straw manning. He made an argument that I didn't even make. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it would be so. It would be so easy for him just to say, "Hey, you know what." I'm sorry, I got rid of the porn domains. I'm gonna fly right, you know, and all would be forgiven. I, I mean, but it's it's he his pride won't let him do that. He just said it's none of your business and went on and, and just left it go and quit arguing with people about it. And yeah, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Well, and we sure. had left it, we had left it behind. We were already on to the next drama. We were talking about Vaughn and then Shani, you know, and uh G Man are about to provide everybody with, with more drama. But he has to bring it back to him. again pride. He has to bring it back to him. We were all not paying attention to him. He was if he if he really didn't if he really didn't want us talking about it. All he had to do was just lay low for a couple of weeks, and we'd forget all about it. All men have problems with pride. I, I mean, I'll admit that all men do have the ego problems, pride problems. We all have it. Men suffer from that. And yeah, but he's a transvestite. That's the difference. <laughs> He's a he can't compete with the master masturbator. Yeah, that and that stupid potato thing is never going to go away. Now the potato is going to be here forever. Well, I want to see the video where Andy Cap yells at him for using the the picture because I didn't put it on Sam's face. I just showed the picture, and Andy yeah. Cap had went ballistic at me, and yeah. and yet Sam is using it on a picture of someone else, and Andy Cap is. Nowhere to be found. Well, you know, I actually had never seen the, the the picture of the potato or the picture of Sam's daughter or the two of them in the same place at the same time until Sam actually had it on a video on his channel. Uh, I never would have ever seen that it, except for Sam showed the picture. And you know, the and, Andy, and then Andy did. Yeah, and maybe it's not a bad memory. Well, I know I have a bad memory at times, but you know. I don't think it meant enough to me when I, you know, I don't remember like, like stuff that was said about Bill. He'll say, well, you should know that, that and I'm like, no, I don't remember the potato. 
thing. I remember people talking about it. And as people talk about it now, during the last, you know, so many months, I, I start to remember things that are from the past, but I don't remember any details. I don't even remember whether I saw it or not. You know, and I would have never known. I would have never known that was Sam's daughter if he wouldn't have said anything. Yeah, like uh, you know, or does somebody just describe not that, that, not that any other child random child remember. would have been better. You know what I mean? Any child in that picture is wrong, obviously. Yeah. But if he wouldn't have said, "Hey, that's my kid," I would have just thought it was some random kid you know i wouldn't have had any idea that was his daughter most of this stuff though i i can't maybe i'm alone in this but i think a lot of people do forget about things like this it, you know maybe to the person oh, i do it's very important but i think a lot of people do forget uh like yeah. the whole porn thing i don't know that anybody would ever forget it completely but i think people in general would forget about it if he just shut up and went on about it Doing, right. Minding his own business, in other words. Well, see, that's, that's what I'm Francis saying. Is about it. Francis is like, one of her comments mm -hmm. was, is this still going on? As if she, let's just keep it under the rug. It's no big deal. He, <laughs> that's I, true. he could probably come to, who, uh, to, you, to you, you know, and, 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 and yeah. admit it and then take it to the Lord and Jesus. And, yeah, and, that'd be the easiest <laughs> way to deal with it. And, I, I mean, but the thing is, I'm like you, Bruce. I, you know, I don't archive people i don't record people i don't necessarily keep track of who had what channel i'm like you i once it's once i've seen it, it it's in and out so fast that it doesn't even barely stop between my ears most of it you know yeah, a lot of times i throw stuff I, I will purposely throw videos away so i don't have a way to remember it yeah. like stuff i don't want to remember and then sometimes i i regret it but if it's something somebody brings up and uses against me, then I don't have evidence of whatever happened. But uh, yeah, that's me too. If, I, if somebody you, if somebody says I did or said something stupid, there's a good chance I probably did because I say stupid and offensive things pretty much on the regular. So you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I try not to. That's how I roll. But Brett I talked about in the helicopter, and I, I that's one of the scariest things I've ever done. So I agree. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm gonna, do you guys want to stay in here and chat, and I'll leave it on? And we'll just let Bruce open a room. That way, he, that way, yeah. if other people want to come in, they can come in. Yeah, Bruce, go open a room because I got to go bring. Dinner. Okay, I'll do that, and then I got to get up tomorrow and get to work and crazy crap. Uh oh, work. Oh no, I just got a lot of stuff to do lately. Um, but 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 yeah, I'll use it. I'll, I'll open one up. All, All right. right. All right. All right. Well, have a safe drive. Christmas concert. December All right. 3 30 p.m. Pacific. See you then. Be there. Be square. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Take care. Square is cool. Square is in. Square is in. <laughs> <laughs>